Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is The Walking Dead, Rise of the Governor by Robert Kurtman, and I'm probably going to butcher this other author's name, but it's Jay Bonensinga. I'm probably butchering his last name. Uh, if I am, I'm sorry about that, but um, Rise of the Governor is essentially a prequel to The Walking Dead comic book series. Now, um, before I talk about this book, I should probably talk about The Walking Dead comics. Now, The Walking Dead is an ongoing comic book series written by Robert Kurtman, and the series, of course, was made into the TV show The Walking Dead, but, um, basically, the comic book series is about a zombie apocalypse that happens, and, like, basically, there's a phenomenon happening where dead bodies are returning to life as zombies, and zombies pretty much take over the entire world and civilization collapses and it pretty much is the end of the world now and the series revolves around a man named Rick and a few other characters who are now trying to survive in this world which has been taken over by zombies and there's a certain point in the comic book series where Rick and a few of the other characters come to a small town called Woodbury which is run by a corrupt leader named who calls himself the governor, and it turns out that the governor is a complete psychopath, and he ends up being the main villain of volumes 5 through 8 of the graphic novel series, but, um, this book is essentially an origin story for the governor, and in this book you really find out what made the governor into the monster that he is in the comic book series, because in the comic books, the governor is a really ruthless character like, um, he actually rapes one of the main characters in the comic books, and, um, yo, and also, if you watch the show The Walking Dead, he's currently the main villain of the show right now, um, yo, but... Like I said, he's a very ruthless character, and really in this book you see what made him into um, the psychopath that he is in the comic book series. Um, basically, the plot of this book is it's about two brothers named Philip and Brian, and Philip's daughter Penny, and their two friends. And what happens is, you know, the zombie apocalypse happens, and they're now trying to survive in this world which has been overrun by the undead. Dead, and really what happens in the book is the character of Philip starts to slowly go insane from all the stuff that he's seeing and the thing that actually makes this book kind of heartbreaking actually is you actually do care about all these characters and you actually do like the character who ends up becoming the governor is actually at first not an unlikable character so really it that's what makes the book actually kind of devastating because you actually find yourself rooting for these characters even though you know that it's not going to end well for them because you know that obviously something drove this character to become, um, like I said, the monster that he is in the comic books. And, yo, I thought this was a great book and for a comic book tie-in novel, uh, it's actually very well written and, um, um, yo, and I would probably almost recommend this even for people who haven't read the comic books, like, just as a post-apocalyptic novel and as a zombie story, it, it is actually really good, and it really is a story about, um, seeing a character, you know, start to slowly go insane, and, yo, know, and you realize in this, in this book that the governor is actually a really tragic character, um, yo, know, I thought it was a great book. I would definitely recommend it. Now, there is a twist at the at the ending of this book, and I did not see the twist coming, and I'm still not 100% sure what I really think of the twist, but, um... Yo, but if you read the book, you'll probably know what the twist is, and, uh, yo, you can make your own, uh, opinion on that, but even though I love the book, I'm still not 100% sure about the whole twist ending, uh, 
But yeah, I would definitely recommend The Walking Dead Rise of the Governor, even for people who haven't read the comics or have seen the TV show, I would still recommend this book. Now, um, Robert Kurtman and Jay Bonensinga, I'm still not sure if I'm saying his name right, uh, they wrote a sequel to this book called The Road to Woodbury, and they're coming out with a third book in what is supposed to be like a a uh, planned trilogy of Walking Dead tie-in novels. I believe the third book is going to be called The Fall of the Governor or something like that. But, um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I thought this was a really good book. I would definitely recommend it, and bye.